Hello, Cat here, and welcome to the Random Game Review. In this episode, I'll be giving you my second week's progress on working out with the Wii with EA Active 2 Personal Trainer software. Now, this game has been pretty fun so far, and I have enjoyed it, well, as much as anyone can really enjoy a workout game. I have not changed my routine. I'm still working four days a week, with one day off in between the two days, and then a two-day rest after that. Now this week, I wasn't able to hit my workout days exactly on schedule, so I did put in a break day apparently on Friday instead of on Saturday and Sunday. Now this didn't affect anything in any way, in fact it didn't even, when I turned it on on Saturday, didn't even notice that I had been gone or ask me any questions about why I missed my day. The game has added several new routines to my workout, and that would be full planks, knee push-ups, full body push-ups, and reverse lunge jumps. Now out of all these new routines, really the reverse lunge jump is the only one that is most rigorous and uh, hardest to do after so many. It tells, gives you about 8 jumps per leg, so after 16 of them, it gets pretty tedious. Out of all the routines that I've done so far, I guess the hardest one would have to be leg lifts. This one entails using your uh, abdomen and lifting your legs while leaning back at 45 degrees or 30 degrees on your elbows and it, that one gets pretty tedious and if you can spot it out while I'm working in one of these four days behind me you'll see the uh, results afterwards of me basically falling over with a uh, out of breath. Now none of these routines I've done this week have left me cramped or with any muscle strains and so far that makes me pretty happy. As you notice behind me, I'm wearing a sweatshirt hoodie and in most of the videos I'm wearing my sweatpants. Now I found that wearing the sweatshirt hoodie has a good advantage here that when laying down on the carpet, uh, when I do get sweaty towards the end of the workout session, it's nice to put that out instead of having to carry a towel around with you and put that on the floor. So that's pretty nice there. The accessories that you use, the heart monitor on your arm and the leg monitor for activity work out as intended. Now in the second week I have noticed that if I have the monitor too tight that it doesn't register your heartbeat while doing running or actually using your arms in the activities. So in this second week I loosened it up a little bit and it really does uh, improve the quality of heart rate monitoring. The leg monitor or the leg activity monitor I should call it does work well in its high position for some activities and in other activities it works well in a mid to low position. Earlier I was just using it in mid to low but I found that uh, in the high position it works great for doing full squats and lunges but in the low position it works great for running and for foot fires. Other than that having to adjust it really isn't that bad and you kinda get used to it when you see what's coming on uh, where to put it on your leg. I'm still doing a 30 minute routine at a full body exercise at a normal pace. So far that's worked out well for me and I have been losing weight. In fact you'll be able to see that soon enough at the end of the episode right down here. Well with all that being said if you liked the video leave a like, leave a comment, or leave a dislike if you didn't. But as always keep on gaming. Until next time this is Cat with a random game review.